This is CodeWalker. It's a new type of developer tool designed to actually show you how your code works. It can help you write better code, help you understand how existing code fits together, and can even help you solve some of the hardest programming problems you'll encounter. For the first time, you will see how your code works, understand complicated relationships, and know how to fix some bugs instantly. And it's not platform or language specific, meaning that it works in all kinds of environments and projects, and will soon support every major language on every major platform. All you do is point it at some code, and CodeWalker will draw you a map. CodeWalker runs locally and does not use any cloud services. It does not use any AI or large language models, and it's completely safe to use on confidential and trade secret code without fear that your code is being stored by a third party or used to train someone else's AI. Okay, so now we're going to take a closer look at how to use CodeWalker. So grab your favorite drink of choice, kick back, and check this out. In five minutes, you're going to have a new tool in your programming arsenal. CodeWalker has a 3D overview mode that we'll cover in another video. Today, we're going to focus on the 2D microscope mode that lets you zoom in on a piece of code and really understand how it fits together. When you first come into CodeWalker's microscope, you'll open a file. CodeWalker will read your code and draw you a graph showing every possible logical path your code might take. Filters are an easy way to help you see exactly what you're interested in. Normal is just black and white. Calls will colorize functions, methods, or subroutines consistently throughout your code. So as you can see here, these pink calls up here are the same as these pink calls down here. And this green section up here is the same as this green section over here. This allows you to visually see how your code actually fits together. Here, for example, is run, which is being called from day. If we take a look at the code, we'd see that day here's day, does indeed call run down here. Heat will show which calls could potentially be called most often based on the number of nested loops. This is something that you can't really understand just looking at your code by itself because you'll often not realize that you're calling one loop from inside a loop in another function. CodeWalker lets you instantly identify potential bottlenecks and potential performance hotspots. Retrace is a feature we'll get to in another video. So that's how the top section of filters works. Basically, you can colorize things to more easily understand the logical flow of code. You don't need to see everything all the time. The lower half of the filters window helps you reduce clutter. The trim button will hide the function definitions. So if the function is actually shown somewhere else in the code, this shows the actual usage of those functions, as they would be used in your code, which is something you can't get from looking at the source code itself. Show all will revert the graph and show everything. Functions will show only the function names and the logic needed to get to them. This lets you reduce code down to the actual structure of execution, which is a godsend when you're trying to understand how unfamiliar code works. Selection will show you how you get to the line of code that you've selected. This lets you easily check the logical chain for conditions you didn't realize you were using, or see performance issues before they happen. So instantly, we can see the exact path needed to get from one point of our code to another, even though this traverses several different functions. Searches will show you only the logic needed to get to your search results, so this is a good time for us to do a search. Open the search window and type something. Let's try searching for tired. If you want to change the color of the search icons, click the redo button a few times. You'll notice that in some cases, the search result icon has a plus in it. That's because CodeWalker believes the thing you searched for is being sent there. The icons without a plus are where the search result is being read. This allows you to instantly see not only where data is accessed, but when and in what order. This can immediately help you eliminate the source of many programming bugs. Going back to the filters, we can now select searches, and it will filter out everything except the search results. This will show you only the search results and the logic needed to get there. This lets you quickly reduce your issues down to just the parts of your code that you're interested in. Lines and variables work the same way as searches. You can use those to find where lines of code are accessed, 
and where class variables are set and accessed. In both cases, you just select them from this top bar. Now you know the basics of how to use the 2D version of CodeWalker called Microscope. We're going to cover CodeWalker's incredible debugging, profiling, and logging feature called Retrace in the next video. And then we'll discuss the 3D version, and then the augmented reality and virtual reality versions. Did I say that out loud? Huh. Oh, and to get your own copy of CodeWalker, either head to getcodewalker.com or visit us on the Steam store. Link will be in the description or in the first comment below.